All right, so here's our first look at Yosemite Live. So we see our beautiful new typography in our menus, this gorgeous new dock, and these beautiful icons. Let's launch an app. I'm gonna start here with Maps, and I want you to observe that as I scroll the content of the map, the way that the title bar actually reacts its translucency and color to the content beneath. It's just really gorgeous. I'm gonna launch now another app, Calendar. So Calendar has a new look for a week view, but also an all new day view. And you notice here on day view, I have all of my meetings in the day, right here on the left, and on the right, I get details about my appointments. So for instance, here at two o'clock, we have our executive karaoke outing. That's gonna be a, a big blast. Um, so it's, it's right there. You, you wanna uh, probably drop in on that if you get the chance. Um, so let's take a look now at messages. So messages, you see this use of the translucent sidebar material, how it reacts subtly to the background. It's really nice. And how the contents of the title bar react as I scroll content underneath. It's really cool. All right, now let's take a look at Notification Center. So of course I have my notifications here, but I also have Today View, so I can see my calendar at a glance, my weather, these are interactive, so I can click, get hourly weather, clock, interact with stocks, for instance, or even reminders. So here I'm supposed to practice for a demo, and I forgot to do that, but it's too late now, so we'll send that one on its way. Now, of course, I can edit these widgets as well. Just click the edit button down here and you see widgets available to me right here on the side. These are all from apps that can export widgets. So I'm just gonna drag out calculator, add that in here, just like that. Or even a third party widget. Let's drag one of those in, ESPN Sports Center. So right there, I get all my information right at a glance. It's really awesome. So next, Spotlight. So I'm gonna click here on the magnifying glass and boom, got a search field right in the middle of the screen. Can type just a couple of characters to launch an app like our new reminders. There it is, it's that easy. But of course Spotlight's great for looking up people too. So I'm gonna look up uh, Phil Schiller here. There's Phil and you see I have all of his contact information here but I also have matches on mail from Phil. Now Phil and I are planning a camping trip. He's a bit of a gear nut and has something he wants to try out on our trip. We also have events and reminders. So we have here that uh, our uh, meeting at the campsite, and uh, oh good, I see that uh, Jeff and Johnny are both in on the trip as well. And I I'll tell you, you, you just have not had chili by the campfire until you've eaten it with one of Johnny's custom crafted aluminum spoons. <laughs> it's, uh, it's the diamond cut chamfered edges that really make for the experience. So, uh, so I'm working on a, uh, a document as well to help uh, plan our trip. Now there are a lot of ways, of course, to find documents, but one way now is by app. So this is a numbers document. I type numbers, and you see in addition to the app, I get all my recent documents that I've opened with that app, and I can access them right here. So let's open up my hiking trip. Uh, and here we see that uh, the trip is planned to involve a 16.4 mile uh, hike. And you know, being an operations professional, uh, Jeff is a big stickler for the metric system. And so, uh, fortunately, Spotlight has my back. I can just type in 16.4 miles here, and I get an instant conversion to kilometers. So that's awfully handy. We do all kinds of conversions. I drop that in, fix that document right up. All right, well, that's, that's enough for, uh, for my document. I can also do great searches, like just type a few characters, bang, I've got Yosemite uh, entry from Wikipedia. I've got news uh, from, from various sources. I even have maps right here. Well, you know, I, I'm looking to plan a, a dinner and maybe a movie out, and now without even launching an app, I can just do a look up for sushi, for instance, and we see I have maps results right here, right inside of Spotlight. And of course, in addition to the map information, we've got pictures, great information from Yelp, so all right there. And to wrap it up, I wanna go out to a movie, you can just type in uh, Godzilla here, oh, there we go, Godzilla. And you see, I have uh, show times for the, uh, where it's playing near me, right here in Spotlight, as well as content I can stream from the iTunes store, all in Spotlight. That's a quick look at the new UI of Yosemite.